Hey, Christian, just a quick question. Was, uh, right here. Was uh, preparing for this role kind of uh, reminiscent of preparing for the machinist? No, it's not like, you know, I, I don't compare any, uh, any, any one role with any other, you know, and it's Dicky, man. I mean, he's, he's unlike any other character on the planet. So this was a whole different prep uh, uh, than anything else. You know, because, you know, the, the, the physical stuff, all right, it's just the beginner. You know what I mean? It's just a, a way to get into it. But this, this is where it all goes on. And Dicky, whoa, that guy, uh, you know, he, he's, he's something else. He's a character, loving the bits. Uh, we're good friends now. And, uh, you know, he was a very, uh, very nourishing part of, uh, of, uh, of my life and uh, experience in the movie. <coughs> Talk to us how it feels as an actor to be involved with a film that has such an impact on people and is being so well received on, by critics. Uh, to be part of a movie that's been so well received, it's so surprising, you know, isn't it? because you make so many movies and, you know, you, 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 the reward is just making a movie. You know, that's enough. That it's just got to be uh, what you do on the day and the experience that you get from it. That's why I act, you know, that's, that's the wonderful thing about it. And, um, and then who knows what's going to happen in the edit room. And uh, when you get someone like David O. Russell and Pam in the edit room, man, they pick these great scenes, they pick the great takes, and you go, oh, thanks, you know, for thinking those ones. And then uh, when people uh, take to it, I'm, I'm the last person who has any idea about what, you know, I don't have my finger on the pulse of shit. So uh, 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 when, when things take off, I'm just delighted. And uh, with this one, uh, you know, I, I, I really loved it. I really loved the experience. Every single person involved with it really was invested, you know, right down to the last person on the movie. And so it's, it's very fulfilling, you know, but, but always surprising because you never have a clue uh, what's going what's gonna to happen, what people are going to like. Um, you've got this and then Dark Knight. What do you do when you want to chill and get away and escape from it all? What do you do to get away from all this? You're great dapper. Are you, you, are you the only man in a bow tie? Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, what do I do just to relax? Yeah. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, family, and uh, uh, there's nothing like getting on a motorcycle. That's just extraordinary. Uh, who's a, you ride? Right? Yeah. What, what do you ride? I have a 750 on Oh, yeah, I couldn't hear everything that you said. 750 Yamaha Oh, okay, right. Uh, there, there, there's nothing like that. It's, it hypnotizes you, you believe. That's, that's uh, something I truly love, but uh, there's nothing like uh, hanging out with, uh, with your daughter. You know, this that relaxes you and teaches you so much. It gives you so much fun and pleasure, and you know, that's it for me. Really. Chris, you got a little teary-eyed talking about your family. What is I know, I didn't fancy I didn't fancy to do that. I'm a, I explain, I get choked up about that stuff. I know. What is it yeah. you have your I'm an Englishman and everything. We may have that whole stiff upper lip. I guess I've been in the States, uh, you know, too long. What is it you uh, have your wife here tonight? It's, it's everything. You know, because I, I, I truly believe you can't celebrate anything like this without having your partner with you. Because, they, they, you know, making movies takes so much time. And it ain't just the time that you that you that you film it. The character's born long before the first day of shooting, and so she's had to be married to so, to so many different characters over uh, our marriage. And some women might say, "Hey, that's great! Variety is the spice of life." You know, there's different people that she's married to. But you know, uh, I I know that I it, it truly would be impossible to do it without her. And she's such a good, strong woman. And so, um, uh, you know, I owe everything to her. Yeah, you share this, truly. Hi, Christian, right here. Uh, when you're training with Dickie, can you tell me how he taught you the best way to throw a punch? Uh, everything comes from the arse, you know? It's, it's like every sport, really. I mean, you can't even break most things down. It's about staying on your toes, and it comes from the arse, you know? It's strong old muscles you got back there. Um, but uh, with Dickie, you know, like you say in the movie, he's very squirrely, he had his own style. Uh, but uh, I, I have the utmost uh, respect for the boxers now because I used to be one of those kind of idiots who sat on the side going, come on, hit him, hit him, like they didn't know that was what they were going to be doing. It is so tiring. It's so exhausting. And when you get in a ring with a pro, like Vicky or Mickey, and you kind of say to him, all right, come on, really come at me now, and you realize they're going to devastate you uh, in, 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 in five seconds flat. It's phenomenal, you know, those guys have incredible talent, and Dickie in particular, he's this genetic freak, you know, I mean, he, he, he just uh, could do what he did to his body and still win, so let alone now, when he's clean, uh, he's phenomenal, you know, and like I said with everything, Dick, 
www.pentclinic.com. If you want to get some good training, and I want to support my friend with his new business, go 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 see him and uh, and uh, get your ass kicked by him. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Very much.